Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Wanted to jump on today because a very, very interesting article today was released by Fightful.com. It says, Jordan Grace isn't sure where she'll sign when her contract expires. It says, WWE is still her dream. I will read. It says, Jordan Grace, one of the staple competitors of Impact Wrestling's knockout division, having been a former champion in the division and having competed for intergender championships, such as the X division title at the most recent bound for glory event. Uh, she's proven to be a very valuable asset in impact wrestling. Um, says Jordan Grace will have a bevy of options when her contract expires in the near future, which is going to be May. And uh, she's not sure where she's going to land yet. Uh, she was speaking with uh, the Wrestling Perspective podcast. Uh, and she says, okay, yes, um, WWE, this is quoting um, quoting Jordan Grace, and it's transcribed by Fightful.com. Uh, it says, okay, so yes, WWE was, I mean, still is my childhood dream forever. It was, but that was was the only option back when I was growing up. Uh, now it's just like there are so many doors you can go through and kind of they're all like in front of you at the same time. So, I mean, it's kind of a handoff. I love the opportunity that Impact has given me, but obviously it's going to be a lot less money than the WWE, of course, uh, would give me if I were to go there. And they would give me a lot less input on my character. So it just depends on if I get older and I feel like I need to be stacking some money for retirement, then I think that's a place I would probably, then I think that's a place I would probably go. So she's saying she's looking to stack some money. WWE would be a place that she would probably go. So this is, this is, this is concerning. <laughs> this is concerning for uh, Impact Wrestling because on the last podcast I talked about, uh, or on two podcasts ago, I talked about Moose's contract is coming up in June um, as per um, reports on the internet. And now here she's saying that uh, uh, May... Um, yeah, so she quotes here, she says, in May, her contract is up in May. So Jordan Grace's contract is up in May and... Moose's contract, uh, as per reports on the internet, is up in June. They need to they need to sign these guys. They need to sign this talent. They can't let Jordan Grace go. I, I know the argument is out there that Jordan Grace has done everything she could for Impact Wrestling. There's nothing left for Jordan Grace in Impact Wrestling. And that's that's a solid argument. That's a solid argument. But you have to think of in terms of the AEW Impact Wrestling New Japan Pro Wrestling Partnership. Well, let's 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 leave New Japan out of this because they don't have um, female talent. Uh, let's go Impact Wrestling AEW Partnership. AEW is developing and they're building, I should say, a very solid women's division. You don't want to lose one of your top top female talents to the WWE. Uh, you want to keep that female division in Impact Wrestling as solid as it can be so it can match up against any, any female division in any promotion in any part of the world. And if you let Jordan Grace go, that's a huge, huge piece. That's a, that's a huge talent you're letting go. And they have replaced... They, they have they won't be replacing her with anything I should say because they haven't brought any new talent in they we we saw um we, we were teased with Killer Kelly, Renee Michelle, and the Sea Stars, but who knows where they are? Well, Renee Michelle, AEW Dark now, uh, and um, um, Ashley Vox also showing up on AEW Dark now. I, I think Killer Kelly might have um. Um, issues getting to the states due to COVID nineteen. Uh, that's I saw that on uh, the internet as well. But but that's that's fine. But there are women in the United States or even in Canada that are available that they could bring in for the time being and and build them up to be stars. Look, Alexia Nicole, Alexia Nicole. There's no reason why Alexia Nicole is not on the Impact Wrestling roster. In my opinion, I think she has a talent. I think she'll be great. Jody Threat, another great talent up here in Canada. And either even Diona Parazzo said that Impact Wrestling should be looking at uh, Jody Threat. So there's a lot of talent out there, but Impact Wrestling is just not bringing them in. And if they lose Moose and if they lose Jordan Grace, 
they have nobody to replace them. They have nobody to replace them. And this is the time, like I said, they need to keep their roster as solid as possible so they can compete against any promotion in the world, mostly AEW because they get the partnership now. I mean, if there's if, if they lose Moose and they lose Jordan Grace and there's a super show, they try to put a super show, it's not going to really be... You know, it's not gonna. It's it's. It, I'm sure they can work at a super show, but it'll it'll be better. So it'll be a decent super show, but it'll even be better if if Moose and Jordan Grace are carrying the Impact Wrestling flag. Uh, that that that's my opinion. And again, solid argument. I've seen it online uh, when I read um when I read this on Facebook. Uh, somebody had posted uh, Jordan Grace has done everything that she could in um in impact wrestling there's nothing left for her to do and, and that's, that's a solid argument i agree she's she's done everything she won the knockout title uh she's teaming with um with jazz right now uh, she challenged for the exhibition title so she's she's done quite a bit she's very successful in impact wrestling but you got to keep uh, that 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 women's division as solid as possible especially right now even if they sign it to another a one-year deal or even a two-year deal just you, you got to keep that roster as solid as possible uh, so it can match up against any roster um, in the United States right now, most notably AEW, and and Jordan Grace. I like Jordan Grace. She's not. <laughs> she's she's just uh, throwing out the hints out there that she wants to go to the WWE, which is you know I guess it's a it's a smart move, smart move. I mean, um, and another part thing, we just lost Taya Valkyrie as well. I'm sorry, and so Taya Valkyrie is gone. They haven't replaced Taya Valkyrie. So if, uh, Taya Valkyrie, Jordan Grace, Moose. If well, that's that's three huge names. If if they in fact lose Moose and and uh, Jordan Grace, the three huge names that they haven't replaced. Uh, but um, back to what I was saying, uh, very smart of Jordan Grace to to say that uh, she's interested in the WWE, and this she, she's not um, she's not holding back in this interview. I mean, she could have said, "Oh, I'm in Impact Wrestling now. Uh, we'll see how it goes," and and say, uh, you know. Um, until my contract runs out, you know, um, I'm impact wrestling through and through, but no, she's like, uh, uh, you know, WWE is my dream and I mean, I'll make more money there. And if I am looking to save some money for retirement, I think that's the place I will probably go to the WWE. So maybe there's some, maybe some, there's some interest there in the WWE. Maybe Ty Valkyrie is, is, um, is, uh, pushing uh triple h to take a long hard look at jordan grace and bringing her into uh to the wwe to nxt who knows but um you can say it's a smart move a smart move by jordan grace by by um by using uh the three letters wwe multiple times in this in this interview but uh we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see what happens uh contract uh, she says here is up in may uh she says here um Honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen when my contract is up with Impact in May. I have no idea. I can't foresee the future, and who knows who's going to offer me something or if, or if I'm going to stay here. I truly have no idea. That's why wrestling isn't the best career path for some people because it's not very stable. Okay, it's it's. <laughs> I, I think Jordan Grace will end up somewhere. I, I think um, wherever she ends up, uh, she'll be well taken care of. Um, um, but uh, again, uh, she, she like how she says she has no idea where she's going to end up. But you know, the WWE is her dream. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right. So, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But whatever happens. Um, it's beyond my control. I can't do anything unless I, I start a GoFundMe to see if we could uh, raise some money to, uh, <laughs> to keep Jordan Grace and Impact Wrestling. Uh, but um, yeah, Impact Wrestling, they have their work cut out for them in the in the next uh, couple of months uh, with Jordan Grace, Moose, and who knows who else's uh, contract might be coming up. Uh, so on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.